Hello everyone, welcome to another Friday new product post here at SparkFun Electronics with me, Robert. Uh, we have a few new products this week and we also have a special guest from engineering, so let's see what we have for this week. First up, we've got a roll of tape, but it's not an ordinary roll of tape. This is 3M VHB. VHB stands for a very high bond. Essentially what that means is this is very sticky stuff. This is used for adhering PCBs to an enclosure. We've all used the um, foam double-sided tape or double stick tape before and after a little bit of time it kind of wears down, breaks down, and especially if you, you know, take it on and off one or two times, it starts to just not stick as well. Well, this is the stuff that you need. This is industrial double strength tape and once you cut off a piece of this, stick a board down, it will stay. So I just uh, put a little piece on the back here. I'm gonna peel this off, stick that down. And that's not going anywhere anytime soon, unfortunately. We have many sensors here at SparkFun Electronics and we have a large sensor kit, which is relatively expensive, but has a lot of different sensors in it. This week we have the Essential Sensors Kit. This is a lot smaller and a little bit more selective uh, than the big sensor kit that we have. And here is what is included. First up, we've got the flex sensor and the force sensor. The flex sensor is basically just a resistor that when you flex it, it has a different resistance value on the end. This is very similar that when you add pressure, it changes the resistance value. We have the classic trim pot that goes into a breadboard. We have the photoresistor, a magnet, and a reed switch. These work really well for um, contact enclosures or something like that, to where you have a magnet and the reed switch. The reed switch is normally open, and when a magnet is present, it actually closes the switch. So these can be nice for kind of like um, backdoor inputs into devices. Um, I've used these before as kind of a safety mechanism for turning something on. You just put a magnet into it and magically it turns on. Uh, we have a buzzer. Um, this is a buzzer speaker combination. You can use it just to play little tones and things like that. These nice piezo elements. These piezo elements are really nice because they can be used as knock detectors or some kind of vibration detection. And we also have these with the one mega ohm resistor that you need to go with these as well. Next, there's a temperature sensor as well as a Hall effect sensor. A Hall effect sensor basically turns on in the presence of a magnet. So it's useful for all sorts of different kind of applications. It's usually used in um, RPM or something like that to where a magnet would pass over top of it and it could count the number of revolutions. And lastly, there is a tilt sensor, which just has a simple ball inside that when you tilt it over, it turns on. And there's also a three axis accelerometer included. Next up, we've got a new module from TI. I've got this guy here. This is Sean from Engineering. We have the new TI CC3000. Sean, tell me what the CC3000 is. Well, the CC3000 is a module from TI, like you said. It is a Wi-Fi module that allows you to connect to an access point and communicate to the module from any microcontroller, such as an Arduino, using the SPI bus. So we have a couple different flavors of it this week. We've got both the breakout board as well as the shield. Can you talk about the differences between these two? Absolutely. So the shield and the breakout board essentially do the same thing. The shield has a couple of more features added to it. The shield actually has an SD card slot on it that allows you to talk to the SD card. So if you want to store pictures, store a website, something like that, so that you can have some extra space along with hosting your website. You notice that both of them actually have a chip antenna, so they're ready to go out of the box. Well, what if the chip antenna isn't enough for me? What if I want to add something like an external antenna to it? Well, good thing you asked, Robert. You see, you can actually bring in your own UFL connector. Both of these actually have a UFL connector on there, so you can put a pigtail on and then attach an external antenna to that. Fantastic. We have this in both a shield variety and a breakout board variety. Sean, can you tell me how this differs from a board like, let's say, the Wi-Fi shield? Sure. So the Wi-Fi shield has a little bit more configurability. It also has things like GPIO pins that you can use from the Wi-Fi shield. However, the CC3000 is meant to be used just as a device connecting to an access point from your microcontroller, so you have access to the whole internet. Something that makes the CC3000 very important is its ability to attach itself to a network using a smartphone app. So TI created something called Smart Config that allows you to send a packet to the CC3000 and then have it connect to an access point. That makes it really easy to program this or connect it to an access point without having to reprogram it. So with a Wi-Fi shield or other shields that are out there, 
you would have to go into the Arduino and program it and set up the parameters specifically, whereas with something like this, you can actually have it talk to the phone directly over the network, configure it with your phone, and then when you move it to a new network each time, you don't have to reconfigure the Arduino. Correct. You can set up something in the Arduino program to say, hey, I'm listening for a specific corrupted UDP packet from the cell phone app, and once you send that out from the cell phone app, this thing will just attach to the network, so you don't have to reprogram it every time. What's going on here is we've got an Arduino hooked up to a CC3000 and a seven-segment display. That's reading in a temperature value and a light value, and then it's posting those to a website every 10 minutes. It's taking the direct temperature reading, converting it to a degrees Fahrenheit, posting that every 10 minutes, and as well as doing it a ADC of the light value and posting that to the website. And you can see what we have here over the past week. So hopefully that gives you a little bit better idea of the CC3000. We have the shield, we have the breakout, and we also have the bare module for you. So thank you, Sean. Yeah, thank you, Robert.